John and Michelle Bruce have made a lot of memories together in the 28 years they've been together, 18 of those years as husband and wife. These days, however, there are no more deep sea fishing or ski trips for the Bruces. Three years ago, John was diagnosed with ALS. Today, he is 42 years old and confined to a wheelchair. He has to have someone with him at all times. Michelle and John's mother share the daily caretaking. His mom retired early so she could be there to help her son. There's never been any question. I have to be here. I know he'd be here for me, you know, if it were reversed. And I love him. I, I can't be anywhere else. Before John's diagnosis, he ran a construction business and was an active firefighter for the city of Fort Lauderdale. He's still on the roster, thanks to his fellow firefighters at Local 765. The fire department has worked his shift for him every single day for almost two and a half years. We still get a paycheck. That's right, his many friends are by his side every day to support John any way they can. We basically come here every day. I mean, John and I went to the academy together, and uh, as long as I've known John, he's always been there for anybody who ever needed help. And uh, we just want to support him, you know. We come here just to let him know that we're thinking about him every day and just to come cheer him up and see what's going on in his life here and, and, and really just socialize with him and, and keep him up to date on what's going on at the fire department. Those guys that were just here, every shift that comes around for him, they work. All their, t all their time, their sick time is donated to him, so. That's, that's amazing. That's it is amazing. I mean, oh, it's okay. It's right. The support overwhelms John. The man who has always been the strong one in his family. The one who was first to help others. Something he learned from his father, who was a policeman killed in the line of duty. John's younger brother Slade, also a firefighter, has always looked up to his big brother. He's just always been very independent. Somebody who just always did for himself. And just a big strong guy who just worked every day. And now, um, you know, he was always the one who people depended on and now here he is in this situation. But what John lacks in physical strength and mobility, he makes up for with his strong spirit and positive attitude. Michelle and John's house and car is equipped with all the lifts and ramps he needs. Soon he will get a voice activated computer which will help him communicate easier, all thanks to MDA. Even the pool John helped design and build before he was diagnosed has a lift now. The Bruces are active along with the firefighters in raising money for MDA and research, all in hopes to one day finding a cure for ALS. Until something like this strikes you, you don't really give it, you know, you go buy the boot, you put money in the boot, you don't really strive for it, but to see him out there at the air show from 11 o'clock to 7 o'clock at night to help raise money, it meant something to those people. So, I mean, it, you know, it finally showed them where their money was going. For now, John and Michelle smile as much as they can and live each day to the fullest with each other and their family and friends. Their wedding vows, the ones in particular, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, have been put to the test. And they have truly passed with flying colors. Yes, you would. You're a strong person. He said he didn't know if he would be able to handle it if I had it. But you would. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. You would. It's okay. Just to know he's breathing, I mean, when I wake up is enough. As I said, I'll take him the way he is the rest of his life. <laughs>